Gabriel, O oh, my Lord, why do you place humans in a haven called earth? Why don't you keep them in heaven? Christ, humans are like drops of water leaving their sea as if forever in the form of vapor and rain, ultimately turning into a river to flow through valleys and forests without border or margin and drain back after a long sojourn into the sea, their origin. Unfortunately and sadly, not all the drops will make it back home. Some humans, because of free will, shall deliberately choose to roam about elsewhere rather than return to their origin and heavenly home. Giving man relative freedom, we have to test him by intentionally making ourselves invisible to him during his earthly life to see if he's breaking our laws. And whether he believe in me without seeing me, since real faith is believing in something one doesn't see, you angels don't need any faith at all to believe because you see us every day and to us you cleave. Yet, if man seeks me with all his soul and mind, mending his ways, I will respond to his supplications and reveal myself to him always. We have to allow man to be tempted on earth to find out whether he's worthy of joining us later in heaven for eternal life together. Besides, we want to check out how humans treat and interact with one another in circumstances where it is a must to react. In other words, earth will be a place of screening and purification to determine the future of mankind. This will answer your question. Yes, indeed, being invisible and seeming to be distant will monitor closely how man behaves in every instant.